Hey babe, friends, welcome back to another episode of The Body. This is where we delve into the incredible and often the overlooked aspect of the human body. Today, we're putting a spotlight on a part that's not only underappreciated, but also it has a fair share of jokes. People joke a lot about this. And you guessed right. We're talking about the anus. <laughs> okay, let's get serious. Yes, the anus. The anus is the gateway to the end of your digestive journey. Now, before we dive into this deep end of these subjects, I know you're already curious, but let me assure you, if you're wondering, what are we talking about? The anus. What like about the anus? Anus? <laughs> well, we're here to educate you and to entertain you. So grab your popcorn, if you can, grab your popcorn and let's get started. Yes, so we're talking about the anus. Without it, did you know you would be unable to eliminate waste and you'd actually die? In case your childhood wasn't enough to give you that accurate idea of its location, the anus is essentially the valve. Yes, it's a valve that stands between your poop and the toilet. Did you get that right? Yes, your poop and the toilet. It's considered the last piece of your digestive tract. It's essentially a two inch long canal comprised of pelvic flow muscles and the sphincters. It's very easy to locate. You wanna locate it right now? You wanna touch it right now? <laughs> no, don't touch it. Yes, it's located right below either your vagina or your scrotum. Did you know that your anus has not one but two sphincters? I'm sure you're wondering, what are sphincters? Well, it's like the body's own double door security system. Yes, you may have heard of an internal sphincter which is involuntary, meaning you can't squeeze it open. It's always closed up tight until it's time to poop. So it doesn't move anyhow, anytime. You can consciously hold close the external or voluntary sphincter if you have time to go to the bathroom but there's no toilet inside and consciously choose to open it when you are ready to poop so thanks to your pelvic floor muscles your poop normally doesn't just come out when you want it to so two sphincters one chooses when to open the other one chooses when not to open now let's talk business what is the main purpose of the anus eliminating waste. Yes, that's the major role. Colorectal surgeon Rafael Lugo reminds us of how crucial this role is. He says, if we don't eliminate waste, we have a serious problem. And trust me, you don't want that problem. In fact, it is said in rare cases, long-term constipation can cause illness and even death. Now, here's a pro tip. Don't shy away from looking at your own anus. <laughs> yes, you heard it right. Lugo actually suggests a self-check and once a year, let a professional have a peek. Yes, let a professional look into your anus. I know it sounds bad, right? It's like giving your anus its own red carpet moment. Very, very important. Lugo says you need to know your body head to toe. People usually tend to notice their dent in their car more often than they notice an issue in their own body, says Lugo. Now let's address the big C, anal cancer. As Lugo advises, you need to know your body head to toe. Anal melanoma may not grow a visible tumor, but early detection can be a lifesaver. Remember friends, your butt deserves some TLC. You don't want to get anal cancer. Answer. Now let's clear up a common myth. Your anus isn't dainty. In fact, did you know that your mouth has more bacteria than your anus? So long as you handle your basic hygiene, your anus isn't dainty. In fact, it doesn't require soap to stay clean, just water and wiping. And it is said that soaps and shampoos can actually irritate and dry out the sensitive skin of your anus. So go easy on those. Just use water 
and wipe it off. Now let's take a trip back in time from leaves to seashells. Humans got creative in the wiping department. Thank goodness to the invention of toilet paper, the unsung hero of bathroom history. So over the centuries before the advent of toilet paper, humans tend to a wide variety of objects with which to wipe their baths, including leaves, grass, stones, corn cobs, animal furs, sticks, snow, seashells, and lastly, you won't believe it. Some even use their own hands. Notice that most of these objects are hard and you might really appreciate that squeezably soft toilet paper that we have nowadays. Have you ever wondered about bat hair? Scientists have theories, but one thing for sure, bat hair is normal. And probably in your infrequent inspection of your anus, you may have discovered that your hair grows down there. Scientists are not sure why your hair grows down there. And that hasn't stopped many people, lay people, including me and you, from asking why does hair grow under there? But there's so many theories that can be summed up in three. One, we simply haven't evolved away from the hair there because it doesn't get in the way of elimination and procreation. Number two, some say it helps conduct saints that our ancient cells relied upon for reproductive purposes. And three, some have said that it helps to prevent irritation or chafing for that sensitive area. What do you think? Why do we have hair down there? Let me know in the comments. Now let's talk about the real pain in the butt, often called hemorrhoids. Dr. Lugo again explains it as a shoe in the door, causing discomfort, bleeding, and even anal seepage. So the veins in your anus helps the anal seal like a closing door. So when you get a hemorrhoid, essentially that's just a swollen, dilated vein. It's like having a shoe inside the door because there's something uneven in between there. So not only can hemorrhoids bleed, throb, and itch, they can lead to a condition called anal seepage. But the good news is that there are many modalities to take care of them, but they are not very comfortable. You may actually need a surgery to take care of it. Is it possible to prevent hemorrhoids? Yes. The key to preventing hemorrhoids is avoiding constipation and straining on the toilet. Don't strain on the toilet. Don't push too much. Prevention is important. Keep your stool soft, take plenty of fiber, and drink plenty of water. So here is a golden nugget of advice. Limit your toilet time to 5 minutes. Remember, your butt isn't a fan of extended social gatherings. Gravity can turn hemorrhoids into unwanted balloons. So make it a quick pit stop. So in simple terms, when you sit on the toilet seat, gravity exerts its pull on those soft tissues including hemorrhoids. And when your butt is hanging in there, all the blood flows into there. And remember, hemorrhoids are like balloons. They stretch, they contract, and that would cause so much pain. So limit your toilet time. Have you ever felt a burning or a hot sensation on the anus? It's not always a hemorrhoid. It could be an anal fissure or a tiny tear in the lining of your anus. That can happen after a large bowel movement, especially if you're already suffering constipation, which can stretch the anus. How can that be treated? By sitting in a hot bath for 20 minutes a day until the tissue heals. But in worst case scenarios where the fissure recurs and won't go away, surgery may be necessary. Okay, here's another one. I know we spoke about anal cancer. Now the next one is anal sex. Another form of anal carcinoma is caused by human papilloma virus called HPV that causes genital warts. 
While this virus can spread from a penis or vagina to the anus, chances of transmission are greater by anal sex. And like the convenient taste of the HPV virus in the vagina, there is not a similar taste for signs of HPV of the anus. That's another reason why having a professional look at your anus is a good idea. There might be a little what? Something that looks abnormal. So if you're sexually active or you're having high risk sex, you should be more vigilant every few months. And that's where we wrap it up. Oh wait, before we wrap it up, let's lighten the mood with some weird and fascinating facts about buns. Did you know a Chinese man spent 55 years, yes, 55 years without the opening of his rectum in the wrong place? That's an unusually long time to live without a normal anus. That man had a relatively common birth defect known as imperforate anus, a condition which one out of every 5,000 infants is born with. So these infants are born with a misplaced, blocked or missing rectal opening. They say this problem occurs slightly more frequently in boys than girls. Boys watch out and its cause, as expected, is not known. So you might be asking, how did this man move his bowels for more than half a century? Well, this man endured a 5 cm diameter surgical hole, which is also called a stoma, near his urethra for excrement, through which he could squeeze stew out of his own hands. I know it sounds so gross, but medically speaking, he had a colostomy, a procedure that is created less than quarter inch wide. This is basically a surgical hole which substitutes your anus. This opening is located closer to your scrotum in a more forward position to your body than rare. So colostomy is the first stage of a two-part operation that is needed to correct the imperforate anus. Did you know that your butt is the most powerful part of your body? We're talking muscles, of course. Your glutes are the biggest muscle groups that we've got, making them potentially the strongest also. Now, here's a funny one. Jennifer Lopez's bum is reportedly insured for 27 million US dollars. Can you believe that? Now, that's an asset worth protecting, guys. Here's another crazy one. Women with bigger behinds are said to be smarter. I don't know how true that is. But a study by the University of Pittsburgh and the University of California found that women with bigger booties are on the average smarter than women with smaller butts. Apparently, this is because the hips and the bums store essential omega-3 fatty acids which promote brain growth. Do your own research, folks. Did you also know that the average person farts 13 to 21 times a day? <laughs> well, check that one as well. Well, there you have it, friends. A roller coaster through the often overlooked wonders of the anus. If you enjoyed today's episode, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on our future exploration of the incredible human body. Until next time, stay curious.